Hi everyone, welcome! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lava lamp using LED strips. This is a very easy and cost effective way to make a lava lamp. And it requires very little to no materials to make, and you can make it portable. I hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned! First, you are going to need an Arduino Nano. This is a very small piece of electronic that you're going to use to program your LEDs. Then you're going to need a USB cable and a power source. I'm just going to use the wall socket because it's easy, but you can also use a power bank. This is a NeoPixel light strip. They come in all shapes and sizes. This one in particular is 30 LEDs per meter. I'm going to be using a wine bottle to be wrapping my LEDs around, you can use whatever. This is going to be packing foam that I'm going to be using as a light diffusion source. I stole these from a broken monitor, this is light diffusion sheets, very useful to diffuse your light. You're going to also need tape! Tape is so easy and convenient for myself, but you can also use a hot glue gun if you want a more permanent solution. As you can see, there's a little arrow on the LED strip. This is going to be very important. Then you're going to make sure that that arrow is pointing upwards to the longest part of the LED strip. And you're going to attach the short end to the bottom of the bottle. This is where we're going to be attaching the power and the commands later. I'm going to be using tape to secure this to the wine bottle, but please feel free to use hot glue and make sure it is evenly spaced in between. The main reason why I'm using tape instead of hot glue is that I'm going to be reusing these LED strips at a later stage. Make sure they are evenly spaced between one and each other. This is going to be very useful when diffusing the light. You don't want it all clumped up in an area and will give a better flow effect. Then you're going to get your Arduino Nano. Make sure you color code your wires because this will make your life a lot easier. You're going to connect the five volts to the five volt pin on the Arduino. I'm using an orange color for this just for the ease of use. I am then going to connect the ground cable to the ground pin. And then the information pin to D6. This is very important later on when it comes to coding, so make sure you have connected it to at least one pin and remember the number. Now off to the coding. You are going to need to plug in your USB at this point because you're going to need to be able to upload code to your Arduino. First, you're going to download the Google Drive folder I have in the description. Then you're going to unzip it and open the Arduino folder. There's this little application and you're going to execute it. This will then pop up straight out of the box. You're then going to go File, Open, and look for the second folder on the Arduino package that I sent you. It is labeled Lava Lamp. Now, there is a fire piece of code to this, but it will be updated at a later stage. You are then going to open the Lava Lamp code. Once the code has been loaded, make sure that the number is 6. This is the pin that you connected the information to. Then, because I have a 30 LEDs attached to it, I am going to make sure that it says 30. If you have more, please feel free to add. Then, you're going to head up towards the toolbar. Make sure your board is Arduino Nano, that the processor is ATM Mega, and that it's the old bootstrapper, and that your port says COM4 or COM5. Once that is all done, 
you're going to head over to the top left corner and push the tick. This is going to compile the code. Once it has finished compiling, it will say done compiling. And then you're going to press the arrow button. This particular arrow button is going to upload the code to your Arduino. Alright, now, after you have plugged it into your power source, you can obviously see the code is running. I am going to use the packing foam now to diffuse the light. Please note, the more foam you add, the more diffused it will be. Not necessarily as bright, but it will give a smooth texture. I am then also going to be using tape to be attaching the foam. You are more than welcome to use hot glue, just be careful that you don't burn your fingers or burn through the foam. As you can see, the more layers I add on, the more diffused it becomes, giving this nice flow effect and not being able to see every individual LED. I am then going to be using my diffusion sheets from a broken monitor. Now, depending on which sheets you get your hands on, they have different effects. Some will be cool and funky, others will be super smooth, and yeah, please feel free to experiment. But because I have all three, and why not, I am going to be using all three sheets, and a lot of tape as well. Make sure you have gotten a nice cylinder shape and it's well spaced out. If you can still see the LEDs through all of this, I would recommend adding even more foam just to give it that smooth texture. And once you have completed everything, you now have a lava lamp. Thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoy. Please feel free to comment if you guys want any cool other tutorials. This is a project that I've been working on for quite some time now and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to like and comment and subscribe for more content and see you all in the next video.